Alright guys, I just want to give a quick review over the guys that I already posted. It's just so... It's just really hard to explain that. So I'm just going to do it it's very simple. I'm just going to be very honest and trying to keep it a cool. Because I know this is going to be another long damn week. Now, first of all, uh, the Wings of Freedom. He recently, cap the cap is now at 99. Uh, excuse me, 999. Editing um, that um, missions for now on gain more uh, Wings of Freedom, depending on the stars and the mode itself. Instead of uh, like. First mission with one star on story mode that you can get only like five. You can get like 50. And the hardest one are like this eight stars. You can get them up to uh, at least 100 or two. Uh, give me a second, I need to get something. Okay, there we go. You can do this as much as you can in this territory mode, but remember, your, your, your characters won't have that much time to rest if you keep on doing missions and missions all, all over again. At, at some point, they're going to be at, the, at their fatigue moment, which I'm going to explain later on. Now, these Wings of Freedom, can, they can use to do... Additional things I'll tell you. For example, policies will remain the same. Already, R and D will be remain the same. So discretion hall is a new thing. They give you three options. The one, the supply, luxurious, which you can get. Uh, recover your regiment's fatigue. And the mater base materials, you can get the materials that you can gain <coughs> upon missions <coughs> and you can recruit more members but they c mm. this one costs heavily I can tell you that I don't I don't know if anyone wants to do it but that's something that we're gonna find out later on not to mention I could switch over to another mode and show you an example of another one but I'm gonna explain it now there's a guy that uh, that sells item through uh, Wings of Freedom points, but they cost too much. So, prepare to do more farming in all the modes. I'll tell you that. Now, next step I'm gonna hit are the bases. <laughs> Self-explanatory. I'm gonna let you see how it is. Residence district raises your number of soldiers you can have. Plaza, they, how many turns you can get? Uh, you can start from the mission you go out. War room that raises the number of personal uh, members you can uh, deploy with, which means all the characters of, uh, of AOT, and then training grounds, which increases your allies. Um, damage it's pretty simple every level increases by 1000 except for level 9 to 10 it increases to 10,000 instead of 8,000 I already maxed uh, two of these out this one is already gonna be max 37 this one is pretty sure gonna be maxed 100 now for personnel if I'm right, yes, and that's the next uh, that's the next topic. Personnels. This is where you can uh, boost any skill or ability once in a combat. This is our falling order, I can tell. Cleaning squad. Commander, mm, commander, sorry for if I pronounce it wrong. Commander, commander, bonus. Uh, by pretty much like you gain more bonus. Uh, XP's from 
completing missions with your allies and your invitation bonus. Which uh, increases your chance of, of maxing the characters out to get you get them into the squad. I was there in 100 anyways. I have no idea. Oh well. Medic squad. This is reduces your fatigue and injuries per turn. The more turns you get, the less the less likely you're gonna get uh, fatigue or injuries throughout the battle. And you can go constantly, bat um, do more battles as you do with previous. Uh, stats. Uh, recon squad uh, plus two journey effect field of view. I still don't know. I yeah, I still don't know. I believe that's affecting like your wait view, field of view. I believe that it's actually your line of sight. But don't quote me on that. And evasion when it ta um, battling in titans. That's either when you're fighting titans or when you're running away from them. Construction squad, 20% or actually collection rate when base materials are located. They are only if you have um, materials base um, build up. So don't get me wrong. And the last one, it says minus one construction signal during battle. It means uh, that all bases, well, I have to know about all of them because that's going to be a Pretty broken thing, but all base is gonna be at, at uh, sorry, I'm I'm just in my mind right now. All base is gonna be re, uh, reducted by one per, uh, one base construction signal, so they cost one less. Procurement squad, you you're likely to get to find rare uh, materials while moving, so you go around. You're gonna get items probably, and then more when you're doing uh, um, exp ex expeditions. Supply squad. It adds more gas blades, guns, especially construction signals. Oh, I I don't know why guns is not listed. Uh, construction signals at the start. So. I don't think you really need it, but for the hardest mode, edit mode, I'm pretty sure you're going to need that. Corps and engineers, it increases your showdown equipment time. However, I don't know why, but even so, if you're going to use that, it's going to the 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 more you're using it, it it decreases the amount of time. So I don't know why they decided to do that. And not to mention, you can actually get one plus at the start, so that's a good start. Now, here's the one thing I'm going to be serious about. If people are questioning about this, I'm going to be honest and cool with this. Policy effect continuation. It's basically saying that the amount of turns of the policy can go is how much it can go on until it ends. Like for, I'm gonna say for example, just keep that in mind when you see that. I'm gonna go <laughs> down here and check the policy. These are all the policies. It's simple. If I click one, which I have currently right now, which is intense cleaning week. That policy can last for 20, uh, 20 turns effect when you're on the territory mode only. When you're doing another mode or all of that, they only last for one. I tell you that, they only last for one. Or actually, hold up. Yeah, they only last for one. Because you're not doing it by turns. This is another mode if you're doing it uh, the story mode or the DLCs or the uh, survey modes you're just doing one by mission they don't have they didn't add anything to it this is only applying to the territory mode that's what I'm getting that's why I was so stressed about when people were asking me that about that oh not to mention I forgot <laughs> well that's actually out of the way so it's actually the best for the personal effect, some of these guys 
have their uh, have their own ranks depending on which are they're best at. And I replace all of them on A's, except for B because your character is is fixed to B. You cannot change anything. You can't change anything for him, okay or her. I'm telling you right now, you can't change and change that, okay? So the at attitude is is based on their skill points, and these are uh, and by rank, this is how much they increase by uh, C for Charlie, 40; B for Bravo, 60; A for Alpha, 80. And C S for zero, which is a hundred, which you can actually see. You got zero, alpha, and then bravo. You can and the other ones are like um, Charlie and Delta. Delta, I'm gonna, I haven't put that up, but that's twenty, so you don't need that. And for now, this is still a work in progress that I put it out since I don't have all the characters in. So, but I put them where they are best at. And by the time I get used to the uh, territory mode on Inferno or Eden, I can just you can just um, uh, move them around at their best. Just make sure they're at least they're B to be better. You don't want them at a zero or below. Anyways, next up is oh yeah, gotta double check on you. Well, if you have seen it. I'll tell you again. Levy score. I mean, the character says rank. It's right there. Just showing you a little bit fast pace. I don't want to be like all that. This one, I know for sure. It's all the higher ups. I can tell you that. Uh, let's see what else have we got in the list. Ah, here it is. Your Territory difficulty change. There's a, there's a guy in the middle with that UNO switch card indicator. It looks like a uh, switch from the UNO card. So this is where you can change your difficulty. Pretty much uh, self-explanatory when you change to another mode. But these are the stuff that you need to know. When you change to another uh, mode, these are the stuff that you're gonna see that you know, affect Com that comes to effect when transforming all this up to that mode. So the, st the stuff you will get still on um, on your race is base expansion, personal members, committee, and base materials. Now, if we go to Fur now. Same thing, and you know how how it is in the Fernals already. If you don't know, I don't know what's wrong with you right now. Titan skills are enhanced, more turns required from injury. Base materials being carried over when defeated or lost. If you lose the, the mission, all materials you have currently, during all the missions you have completed, are lost. So, I highly, highly recommend it for you all to be in a normal mode or heavy mode. Get some practice, and if you can get used to dodging and all, then go to forum mode. Make sure your equipment is also at max uh, potential. If they aren't, you aren't going to do any damage to the titans. <sighs> That's the one thing I'm going to be bashing about. I know people are going to be so uh, fears about that. But hey, it's only if you want to get best for Inferno. Especially with Eden. They're all the same thing, okay? But Eden is like god hell of Inferno. I haven't even tested out since I haven't completed Inferno, but I'm pretty sure Edit Mode is just God Hell Mode, and no one is not gonna survive that. Not even the Elite is not gonna 
um, take its time to bash every titan out. Ah, look at it. They're just gonna suffer, just like me. I know for a fact. I don't know. I know how gonna feel like when they're trying to do this um, difficulty. <sighs> what else is there that I? Better bonus for winning battles, so more experience, as well as more experience, money, popularity obtained. But not honestly, I haven't seen what's good from them, except getting skills. From <clears throat> the characters. That's one thing I haven't explained, but that's another thing I will describe describe later on. So I was gonna keep this information for now, and they're all gonna be put um, put up in Discord with Lewin Chucks. If I pronounce your name wrong, I'm not sorry though. I'm just. I'm having a hard time trying to help people out, okay, man? It's seriously trying it gives me hell. I know for a fact, but I, I'm telling you now. I don't... I, people who are going to watch this, this isn't going to affect you. But if you know uh, the Discord that I'm in with, you know um, how much of a pain in the butt I'm going to be doing this. There are going to be so many questions, and none of the guys, none of you guys are going to look at the guides. That's why I'm still going to, I'm just telling you this, because I'm confirming it to you. If it doesn't get the, if it doesn't get the, uh, if this information doesn't get to you all, or you guys doesn't start watch, uh, reading the guides, I have no idea what's going to help with everyone around that are trying to play a game that was... A good update for final uh, for the final back to of season three. If anything I do doesn't help putting guides up or putting that up on YouTube, it's already dead. The game is already dead. I'm telling you that right now. I I am I ain't holding it back, man. The game's already dead. There's nothing I can do anything about it. So, if you want to get more information, just read the guides. I'm literally helping you guys. I will do everything in my power to get this game to have a good guide. That's all I care. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later on.